it's Lauren. So today we are going to be talking about a launch that I am particularly excited for. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this one, and that is Phytosurgence's In Bloom collection of their Flash Fluorescent Cream Shadows. So they launched four. There's like a kind of shimmery, I'll just open them up and show you. It's like a shimmery almost foiled metallic looking one. This one does not have a base to it. It's just basically pure diamonds on your eyes. There's Orchid Overload, which is more of like a pink variation of that. There is a little bit more of a tone to the base of this one. Um, and then we have Defiant Dahlia, which is a really unique kind of brown color, but it also has like a very purpley kind of undertone so it fits in with this collection and then the shade that really sealed the deal for me was wild wisteria come on here's the thing purples are really difficult to get right um you know I've talked quite a bit with Jason um one of the founders of this company and he initially had a much darker base and he's like it just everything turned into a smoky eye and so eventually it became this color and it is, it looks bright, but it's also so incredibly flattering on the skin. So I'll show you that too. So let me show you um, kind of swatches of each of these. We'll start with Fractal Freesia. Um, these retail for 21 Canadian dollars. They are a Canadian company. Um, in US dollars that comes out to just below 17. So do a nice healthy swatch. Look at that. So beautiful. I literally couldn't wait with this one and I put it on over my eyeshadow when it arrived that day. It was, oh, guys, the textures of these, these are more um, glittery than anything else that they've launched. Um, but the wear is comparable to their other flash fluorescences. So beautiful. So you can see it has a little bit more of a pink base to it. And then we'll put on some Defiant Dahlia. This color is really cool. I love a good brown. This one's really beautiful because it has a little bit of that kind of purpley violet undertone but it's also got this silver flex shimmer in it, which is really beautiful. This, oh, this collection is just so well done. The way that Jason and Tom see color, it's just, it's so good. I like, I'm slowly amassing a larger collection of phytosurgeons <laughs> and for good reason. Their products wear incredibly well Everything is so reasonably priced and the colors are just really a little different than everything I have in my collection. So as you can see, Wild Wisteria, it's a vibrant purple, but there's also a softness to it, which I really, really love. Um, and I have green eyes, so I really, really love this color. That was like probably the shade that I was most excited about. But to be honest, I love all four of these. I have zero regrets buying all four of them. <laughs> I was having a very hard time choosing and I was just like, you know what? They're affordable enough that I'm just going to buy the whole collection. And yeah, I'm so happy that I did. So I played with Wild Wisteria the other day. We went um, to Garden of the Gods here in Colorado. It was really beautiful. Um, and I wore that like on like a little hike kind of through the mountains. And my eyeshadow was perfect at the end of the day. If that gives you any idea of the longevity that these shadows provide, they are so, so beautiful. I'll put a picture um, up here so you can see what Wild Wisteria looks like. I think that purple color really kind of scares people, but it's really, really soft and delicate and easy to wear. It doesn't have to be garish. I think that, you know, people can wear color without it screaming at people, but you can still make a little statement, which I like. So I think for today, um, I do want to show you what Fractal Freesia looks like over a different eyeshadow so you can understand how to use it as a topper. And then I'm going to play with Defiant Dahlia and Orchid Overload today.
Okay, so here's a little demo. I'm gonna show you over, this is Trinidad uh, from Uoma Beauty, the Carnival palette and Rio. And then this is from the Thrive Cosmetics um, Eyeshadow Palette 3. So let me show you what this looks like over each of them. So I'm gonna use different fingers. I'm gonna start with Trinidad. And what I'm gonna do is kind of a pressing motion, but it gives this like really beautiful kind of foiled diamond appearance over whatever you put it over. And the nice thing with these, there's really not any glitter fallout by the end of the day, which is kind of unusual for any type of a glitter shadow or topper. And then we'll do that over the um, kind of matte taupey shade. I'm gonna press a light drag because I don't wanna pick up too much of the shadow. I think anytime you're mixing a cream and a powder together, you wanna be careful so that you don't do that. But look how beautiful, it just, it adds this little zing to whatever you put it over the top of. I just think it's such a beautiful, special shade. It's also really beautiful on its own. I mean, it's just kind of like a little pixie, just twinkled some, you know, dust over your eyes. It's so beautiful. So, um, before I start on my own eyes, I'm going to try to get some of this off of my arm. Look at that, look at the longevity. These things don't budge, you guys. I don't understand these formulas. They are phenomenal, phenomenal. They keep selling out of everything too. And honestly, it's not surprising to me at all because when you've tried their formulas and you understand how they wear, I get it. <laughs> okay, so today I wanna to put Defiant Dahlia across my eyes. I'm just gonna take my ring finger and these are so beautiful because they're like finger painting. You don't have to use a brush. I mean, you can, but you don't have to. They blend out so easily. You get a really beautiful wash of color. I think for a brush, if you wanna apply these with a brush, I recommend something that has slightly firm bristles. Um, I found that like synthetic brushes work really well with this. I have like a 99 cents uh, wet and wild brush that oh, look at that glitter. That works really well with their shadows. It also works really well with my Violet FR U Paint. But look at that. Also from Fight of Surgeons, I have on Singe today on my cheeks and um, their Spectral Shine Radiance Balm in the shade Mirrored Moonlight, which I absolutely adore. I've actually, I'm gonna show you. I've actually hit pan on this. We, we done the thing, we did it. I, it's okay, let me just explain to you. That's a big deal because I have so many products, right? Like I try so many different things and I'm always rotating between stuff. And so I don't always hit pan in a normal timely manner, <laughs> but I have with this. I've had this for I don't know, I don't even remember when it launched. It wasn't that long ago and I have hit pan on it. They're that good. They are so like, it just looks like a, a mist of color across your cheeks, um, catching the light. It's so beautiful. So I'm just kind of building this up to where I want it today. You can do a very soft wash or you can do a little bit more. And I'm trying to make it a little bit more um, soft and diffused higher up and a little bit more intense across my lash line. Now what I'm gonna do is use my pinky and dip this into here and really use that as my tool today along my lash line. Oh, got an eyelash in my eyeball. Ooh. Okay. But just for that extra little pop of uh, definition across the bottom. So easy, so simple. So now what I'm gonna do, I wanna use Orchid Overload as well because it's that really beautiful kind of pinky rose kind of color. And I really wanna tie that in because I've got a little bit more of a pink flush across my cheeks and my lips today. By the way, I find that 
Pout Lipstick from Victoria Beckham Beauty pairs really, really nicely with Singe from their um, Skin Sparks, just so you know. I put on the Victoria Beckham in Pout um, with my Khaki Thrive Lip Liner, and I just really like how that combination came out. I've said it before, but I love how the Khaki Lip Liner really just makes your lips look a little fuller and poutier with whatever you put on over top of them. So for Orchid Overload, uh, how do I want to do this? I want to put this in my inner corners. And the reason being, you know, I know that like a halo eye is really kind of the trendy thing and it looks really pretty, but I also know with my eye shape, I like having more brightness in that inner corner. I think it just opens my eyes up a little bit more. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So again, I'm going to take my pinky, cleaned off my pinky, and I'm going to pop this. Oh, girl, look at that. It's like, it's almost like a wet shine. I'm just going to lightly drag that in. Oh, that's so beautiful. For what it's worth, this is like the shade that I haven't really played with that much. But, um, I mean, I had swatched it and stuff, but oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's rotate. I should have used a different finger, but I didn't. It's just like a little starburst across your eye. Just, I mean, if you like glitter, if you like shimmer, this collection is for you. And I hope that it will continue to come in stock if you haven't gotten it already. Um, so you can get some because that is oh, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on a little bit of eyeliner and some mascara and we'll do kind of a final roundup if you haven't fully gathered my thoughts on this collection yet. <laughs> All right, and we're back. I use a little bit of my Jones Road Beauty Black Eyeliner Pencil inside the waterline on both my upper and lower um, lashes. And then I use the MAC Magic Extension Mascara, which is like a fiber mascara, really kind of added to that like flary, starbursty kind of effect that I'm going for with my eyes today. Really loving how this all came out all together. So let's do a final roundup, shall we, of this new collection. A home run out of the park so so good just between everything the actual collection and the colors themselves the longevity and the fact that there is almost zero fallout from this glitter that they've got going on um the price point is like ridiculously affordable for the quality that you get and for the product itself and you get like a hefty amount of product in here okay like it doesn't take that much to really build it up, um, but I would not be surprised if much like the Spectral Shine um, highlighting balm that I just blast through these because they are so beautiful and so easy to wear. Um, and they're just a little different than everything that I own. I mean, I, obviously there are tons of glitters on the market that everybody loves and that sort of thing, but these are truly special. Um, and I didn't know this until recently, but Jason and Tom are both still working other jobs and phytosurgeons is like kind of an extra thing that they do. So like, you know, they posted all of this in their stories recently and I'm just like secretly hoping that we all keep selling them out every time they launch something so that they can make this like their full-time gig because I truly believe that like there's so much talent and such a um, special eye and gift for making these products. Uh, like they are truly unique and truly special. And um, yeah, I just like, I cannot wait to see where this brand goes and grows. And um, it's really cool, like kind of being in on the early stages of it. And I also love so much that every time that they're creating new things, they let everybody see like kind of the behind the scenes process of the colors of you know, kind of scrapping colors that don't work and reformulating into a newer one. And that's kind of what happened with um, Wild Wisteria. Like, you know, they showed 
the initial starting points and when they weren't happy with it. Like that's just something that's really kind of unique and special about them. So I love phytosurgeons in case you haven't picked up on that. I love their products so, so much. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that it was helpful seeing some swatches, how um, they layer and just a little demo. I just, I love it so, so much. It's a great eye makeup day. It's so, it's, it's glittery and it's like beautiful, but it's also very wearable. Like that's the thing that's so special about the way that they see color. They take something that's really kind of blingy and sparkly and make it look doable for most people. I think a lot of people get scared when they hear glitters and that kind of thing, but these are just, they're not like most things. So yeah, I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. And um, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to give it a like, maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this, and I will see you next time. Bye.